If anyone knows of any reason why Stan should not be married to Ruby, let them speak now or forever hold their peace. Ow! Ow! Oh, um, sorry. M mosquito. <clears throat> Melanie, if you play any of your little tricks tomorrow, you will be disinherited. Twice. B well, actually, I only need the bride and the groom for the rest of the run-through. <laughs> I'll get a photo of this. <laughs> Seems to be a lot of screaming at this particular ceremony. That'll be Lionel if anything goes wrong. He spent years trying to marry Ruby off. <laughs> but I don't understand why the whole family aren't coming to the wedding. I mean, it's such a lovely old church. Very funny, Melanie. With our family, we want the church to stay lovely and get a bit older. She's not being funny because she's not Melanie. <sighs> You'll have to excuse the Hobson clan, Cameron. They can be... Like all other families, when they're not screaming and yelling, they're not talking to each other. Well, I didn't think we appreciate how lucky we all are to belong to a big family. <laughs> well, it's memorable. No one's ever going to forget that dress. <laughs> Of the occasion. <laughs> exactly. They better not. But, Aunt Ruby, I, I thought... Aren't you wearing white? Yes, of course I am. So... <laughs> Melanie, I'm not going to take all the spotlight. This is the bridesmaid's dress. You get to wear it. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> She's got you a pretty amazing dress. You wait till you see it, Mel. It's gorgeous. <laughs> They're going to be talking about Mel the bridesmaid for a long, long time. Oh, um... Well, it looks like they're going to be talking about you. I can't make the ceremony. You've got the day off. Well, not where Pamela Ann is concerned. She sprung some record store promotion on me. We'll get out of it. I've heard about your family. <laughs> what have you heard? <sighs> Well, so far they sound like a cross between the Adams family and a bunch of angry Tasmanian devils. <laughs> well, I've never seen a Tasmanian devil, but if they've got sharp teeth, you're pretty close. Mel. <laughs> Minty, I'm teasing. They're relatives. They turn up Sunday afternoon once a year, tell you how much you've grown, like you're going to have gotten shorter, and complain about the others. <laughs> Did you look at that funny spot in the mirror? I do it all the time. I swear there's three of me in there sometimes. Well, you're on in one minute, Miss Sullivan. I'll make it to the reception, I promise. You better be. Alex, please, no photos. Please, not now. Put it away. Can you just. Oh, it's good to see I... you. Oh, no, I'm sorry. What? Alex, is that you with, with Alex in this? Hey, Alex. I'm gonna sell this uh, to a horror magazine. Say one word and I hear. Well, look at me. Where did your dad get this circus? I'm thinking Lionel. Isn't it bad luck for the groom to see the bride before the big tragedy? Dad said he doesn't want Stan to have a chance to oh, rethink it. I can't it. believe you talked me into this medieval slave ownership like ceremony. What? I mean, and the sexism. The bride is given away. She swears obedience to the man. I mean, even the bridesmaid can't speak for herself. The best man thanks everyone on her behalf. Cameron, I think you're missing the point. It's about love. If you ruin the I will be a good and quiet member of this wedding ceremony. Thank you. I bet you can't do the same. I bet you can't spend the whole day without taking the mickey and causing a bit of trouble. Of course I can. Easiest bet in the world. Oh, Alex! Remember, only sign for people who bought a tape or a CD. Oh, and smile, darling, smile. <laughs> this idea to branch out of the music business may have been one of my best. Inspired, <laughs> inspired. Um, don't you think maybe we should open the doors? Oh, nah, let them build a fever pitch. Then we'll ride that wave, as Shane would say. <laughs> We have come together in the sight of God for the joining in marriage of this man, Stanley Philip Mark Plantagenet. Uh. Where was I? Ah, oh, yes. 
And this woman, Ruby Doreen Hub. Hello? It looks like I'm so popular, I might just be killed. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother. If anyone knows of a reason why Stan should not be married to Ruby, let them speak now or forever hold their peace. I might just be a little man. What? You promised me. Oh, not you, Stan. Um, uh, the Dan caterers. I'll deal with you later. On with the show. Uh, you were saying, Vicar? trouble with the reception hall. You didn't book it. Well, well, well with, with, with the, the car and the church and the, the photographers, you know. Why don't we have it at home? Oh, lovely. Lionel, our house has not been painted in 16 years. No. Oh, no, oh, Peg. Now, Ruby, you know everyone. No, it'll be lovely. A family reception. What could be more appropriate than that? Appropriate. Yeah, that's the word. Uh, uh, Cameron, right? but don't you lead everyone... Um, yeah, that way. Hi. Come on. Oh, Ruby! 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 It's this pain I get here on the side, but it's only in the morning. You know what I mean? He's got a well to pick. You're not looking fresh, Bishop. No, I'm not. You've got to go for a while. Thank goodness your father called the caterers. Hi. This is Edge. I see Mel. Pleasure. How is Alex? Well, he's not bad, do you know? Mm. He's reaching puberty, so... Only my family would invite the psychiatrist to the wedding reception. We'd both better act normal for a couple of hours then, eh? What makes me mad is that I'm the only one who shouldn't be seeing him. You're the ones who can't tell the difference. Look, Mel's just trying on different things at the moment to see who she wants to be. Put a straight jacket on camera. No one changes that much. I'm going to prove it once and for all. I'm so glad you like it. 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 I'm so glad you changed your autograph. Oh, yeah, I got bored with the old one. I hope you'll be so glad and like it. Come on, it's time to go back to the hotel. Hi. Uh, might just see if Mum needs a hand in the kitchen. Oh, hi, Melanie. Well, aren't you going to say hello to your own godfather? Oh, hello. Hello. Well, aren't you going to introduce us, Melanie? Oh, yes, of course. Stan, meet Frankie. Frankie, oh, the godfather. Hello, She's forgotten you, Frankie. No, hello. not at all. I, I just didn't recognise you with the hair. Alex! <clears throat> Thank you. My mind just went blank for a sec there. Well, let me help you then, Mel. Oh, would Whoop. you? Coming through. Oh, Frankie, really, would you? What are brothers for? Come on. <sighs> Aunt Ivy, she loves to talk about her lottery win. Auntie Ivy! Oh, hello there. Hi. <laughs> so how's that lottery win going? Melanie, don't you start stirring that up. What I do with that money is up to me. It's mine. And it's going to stay yours, isn't it? Don't you start on me, Frankie, just because all your money goes to support your bookie. Bookie? My money? Yes, Alex. Causing trouble already, Mel. No, I wasn't. 
wasn't causing trouble. That was just starting a... Starting conversation, I know. Shaw was a good discussion generator. Come on, let's not bring on the old devil ghost now. Look, do something about it. I don't understand. She usually loves to talk about her wings. Out of that damn club! This is your cousin Philip, husband of Morag. Talk. Don't want Philip! Melanie. Hi. Um, I'd like you to meet oh, Cameron. Philip? Oh, Cameron, how do you do? Nice to meet you. Yes. yes. You're the uh, motorcycle mechanic. Oh, yeah. oh, right. The original paint job? Yes, the original paint job. Well, it's just uh, all worked out quite well, really. See, Pet? Just like you, they've got a very forgiving nature. Keep their minds off each other. Man, don't put on some quiet, soothing music. Oh, by the way, I'll never forgive you as long as I live for not renovating this house. <laughs> Married life, great, isn't it? <laughs> Oh. That is the cruelest thing anyone has ever said to me. You know perfectly well where Morag is. She's with Charles, my own brother. How dare you bring that up? You don't know what it's like when your wife runs off to live with your brother. No, I don't. A good cry sometimes will do you the world of good. A good laugh sometimes isn't bad either. You're all laughing at me, aren't you? Well, I'll show you. I'm going to have this out. I didn't know. You didn't know your own cousin? Well, I mean, of course I did, but... I just couldn't resist taking the mickey. Alex! Don't be crazy. Don't be with me to fool with you. You feel like fooling yourself, you know. It's a fool you tell me. Don't you speak to her, mate. Arnie Blanche, I, um, well, a change of clothes and a, and a bit fresh air, I thought. Frankie might not be very important in your life, young lady, but that doesn't mean you can insult him without a care. I will never forgive you for this. Oh, no, I wasn't trying to be funny when I said, what have you been doing? I mean, I knew about the prison. What else would you have been doing but what you have been? But I, I really have to escape. Oh, I'm a bit of break out. I'm going. Hey, Tony. I'm not saying anything to anyone else. The new Melanie Hobson is seen and not heard. <laughs> Great. Boo. It's all the pig out and get it back. You don't stop, do you, you horrid child? <laughs> Course. You can have your crummy boots back there! Oh, how dare you! I've got enough trouble with those two men! Oh, have you? What do you think you oh, are? I can't help you! Correct. 
who was assassinated in 1914, which started the First World War. Oh, it's hardly time for a spot quiz. Oh, hang on, if Aunt Ruby was alive, then it was probably her. <laughs> Cover your mouth. Go, go, go. Uh, uh, you don't you dare. Sales, mate. Cricket bat. My dog. It's my wedding. Oh. Now behave. <laughs> I think there could be a Nobel Prize in this family for me. Reception hall, honest. Well, people there were dressed even more strangely than you. Anyway, what have you been doing out there? They all want to kill me. Well, they'll have to wait their turn. Thank you. Oh, I'm out of here. Hang on, you started all this, and they're your family. One, two. While I've got your attention, no one will dance, eat, or leave until Peg's house is cleaned up. Is that understood? Good. Have a nice evening, everyone. Oh. <gasps> Melanie! <laughs> um, you were right. This horrible food fight's put me right off. I'm going on a diet. For real this time. Oh. <laughs> I don't know how you did it, Melanie, but you finally got them talking. You know, like everyone always says, you're really nice. Oh, oh, I'm really sorry. I'm really I'm From Glen to Glen. You should hear them talking in there about you. They think you're wonderful. You've changed your dress again. Well, I thought if you had to wear this suit, the least I could do was look silly too. <laughs> By the way, did you know they used to make candles out of whale blubber? That's a lot of candles. That's awful. A beautiful creature like that. Correct. Did you know who Franz Ferdinand was, the Archduke? Well, he, he was assassinated in 1914, kind of started the First World War, but... Correct. You're smart and I'm an idiot. I'm as thick as two short planks, aren't I? Cameron, what are you talking about? You're the smartest person I know. I know, but I can't see my nose in front of my face. What have I said now? 
<laughs> Great. Any of the punch up? Oh, good, it's you. Oh, hey, have you seen Cameron? No. Well, we better switch clothes and I'll take over my family again. Even though you have turned... Gotcha! Now I've got you trapped and you can't get out and I've got proof. <laughs> what, what proof? See, I'm not crazy. Got them in full colour and I've trapped them in here. I want Dr. Goldfarb here now! What's going on now? I've got them! I've got Mel and the other one! I've got them! Look, Alex, I know there's been a lot of excitement here tonight. Well, maybe we should talk to Dr. Goldfarb. I've got them both and when you see them both, I want all our money back for all those visits. Look, I'll just go and check. You will do no such thing, young man. A lady's bedroom belongs to ladies only. Get out of my way. Hello, Aunt Ruby. What are you all doing? Can't a girl have a little privacy in here? Of course you may. By the way, Melanie, tonight's been the best fun I've had since school hockey. <laughs> You've always been my favourite. Hmm? Now, what are you all staring at? Come along. Come along. There's more cleaning to be done yet. Oh. I've got a photo. I've got proof. It's... Cameron, did I give you the photo? What photo? But... Yes. Oh, Alex, it's been a long day. <laughs> Alex, I've got to tell you, after the events I witnessed tonight, I completely understand your psychosis. You want to be in a different family from this one. I think that's a very reasonable reason. What a night, eh? I love coats. Ow! <laughs> oh, you. <sighs> but you like her better too, don't you? I really must thank you for a most exciting evening. It sure wasn't boring. I really wasn't trying to cause trouble. It was just... Just... Just families, I know. They've been carrying around secrets and stupid little annoyances for years. You've cleared the air so they can sort things out. Yeah. I never thought of it like that. Oh, yes. Secrets can be the most... the worst things in the world. I mean, it's like the ultimate not trusting someone. I mean, you and I, we tell each other everything. Well, I... I guess the thing with the secret is that sometimes you're afraid of what the truth might wreck. Oh, no, that's not a secret. That's a lie. The worst kind of lie in the world. Cameron. Yes? <laughs> you really do look great in that suit. <laughs> Liar. We had so much together. Nothing. 